Peter Marshall hosted the original incarnation of the Hollywood Squares from 1966 to 1988. He additionally held this post for the nighttime syndicated version of Hollywood Squares from 1971 to 81. Marshall is a multi-talented star who, throughout his career, amassed more than 50 television, film, and Broadway credits. While to the viewing public, Peter seemed to be a carefree, typically jovial man with a knack for witty one-liners, in truth his personal life has been rife with turmoil and heartache. At 95, the West Virginia native lives in Palm Desert, California. His health has been steadily deteriorating in recent years, and most recently he survived a bout with COVID-19. In this video, we'll be taking a closer look at Peter Marshall's life and career. Tragedy struck early on. There's little more heart-wrenching than losing a parent to death. Peter Marshall was born Ralph Pierre Lecoq on March 30, 1926, to parents Ralph and Jean Lecoq. Marshall, who was given his stage name early on in his career by actor and modeling agency founder John Robert Powers, grew up in Huntington, West Virginia. He was reared in a showbiz family. His mother was an aspiring costume designer who worked for Macy's as a sales associate, and his father, who had a love for theater, worked as a pharmacist. At age 10, the unthinkable happened when Marshall's dad committed suicide. Little is known about the reasons that pushed Ralph to take his own life, but it's conceivable that financial issues and depression were to blame. Following his father's death, Peter moved to New York City to live with his mother, who was trying her best to make a career for herself as a costume designer while putting in long hours at Macy's. After Peter graduated high school, he was drafted into the armed forces in 1944. He was stationed in Italy with the U.S. Army and was originally in the artillery, but he eventually was tasked with being a DJ at a local radio station in Naples. In 1946, he was honorably discharged with the rank of staff sergeant. Peter's sister, Joan, also shared a love for acting. Under the stage name Joanne Drew, she became a relatively successful TV and film actress, best known for roles in films such as She Wore a Yellow Ribbon, Red River, and All the King's Men. In 1950, Drew played Denver, a sex worker and entertainer, in the John Ford film Wagon Train. Drew later passed away after being diagnosed with a respiratory ailment that developed from lymphatic edema on September 10, 1996. She was 74 and she died in Los Angeles. According to Marshall, she developed this condition due to chemotherapy she'd received over the course of her life. She was cremated and her ashes were scattered at sea. Hey, if you're enjoying this video so far, be sure to give it a like and subscribe to Factsverse if you haven't already and stick around for more about Peter Marshall. Marshall's Early Acting Career In the early 50s, Peter earned a living performing in nightclubs as a part of a comedy act alongside Tommy Noonan. Noonan and Marshall were essentially family, as Noonan's half-brother, John Ireland, was married to Peter's sister, Joanne. Peter was first given a chance to appear on television on a handful of variety shows. That eventually led to him making early appearances in films such as Starlift, The Rookie, and Swinging Along. In 1958, he appeared in an episode entitled The Big Hoax of the syndicated police drama Harbor Command. In 1963, he played Lucy's brother-in-law Huey in Lucille Ball's top-rated show The Lucy Show, in the episode Lucy's Sister Pays a Visit. The Hollywood Squares and Beyond Despite occasionally being given roles in movies and TV programs, Peter struggled to find regular work in the industry until his buddy, actor, writer, and producer Moritz Amsterdam, recommended him to the producers of The Hollywood Square to replace Burt Parks, who had emceed the game show's pilot. Peter initially wasn't going to accept the job offer, but he took it so his rival, comedian Dan Rowan, wouldn't get the gig. Marshall's beef with Rowan stemmed from the time he and Noonan had written some material for Rowan and Martin's Laughing. Apparently, Rowan showed little to no respect for the fact that Noonan had been terminally ill at the time. Marshall only ever expected to spend about 13 weeks hosting the program before he would go back to performing on Broadway. But he ultimately ended up hosting it for over 5,000 episodes over a period of 15 years. Peter excelled at his duties as host. He proved to be the perfect comic foil for such wickedly witty panelists like Rose Marie, Jan Murray, and Wally Cox. The program eventually ended in 1981 after NBC NBC decided it had run its course the year prior. Marshall continued to work as a character actor and game show host. Some of his most noteworthy credits post Squares were in Fantasy, All-Star Blitz, Yahtzee, the 1994 East Hollywood Square sketch on In Living Color, and 1998's The Real. In 2002, more than two decades after ending his tenure as host on the original Hollywood Squares, Marshall appeared as a panelist on the rebooted Hollywood Squares hosted by Tom Bergeron during the show 
show's Game Show Week. For one day of that week, Marshall even took over as host while Bergeron was the Center Square panelist. On the radio, Marshall hosted the popular syndicated midday program Music of Your Life for 15 years, reaching American audiences across the country. His final credit was narrating Rose Marie's documentary Wait for Your Laugh in 2017. In 2021, he finally retired from showbiz. His Bout with COVID-19 in January of 2021, Marshall was diagnosed with COVID-19 at age 94. Given his advanced age and the severity of the illness, Marshall's doctors expected him to die from the highly contagious and virulent respiratory disease. In February, he was discharged from the hospital in what was expected to be a hospice situation. Against all odds, Peter survived the disease at home under the care of a new doctor and around-the-clock nursing care. In April 2021, Marshall's third wife, Lori, told Fox News her husband didn't think he was going to survive his battle with COVID. For the first two weeks after his diagnosis, he was put into quarantine and was only able to talk to his wife via phone. When Lori was finally able to see him, she described the outlook of his diagnosis as grim. But Marshall refused to let his diagnosis be a death sentence. Every time he spoke to his wife, he wondered if it would be their last time. But he didn't want to go out like that. It's that will to live that may have saved his life. Unfortunately, COVID rocked his world once again when his son, 68-year-old pineapple farmer Dave Lecoq, was diagnosed with COVID in June 2021. By early July, the Hawaii resident's condition had deteriorated to the point where he had to be put on a ventilator. A little over a month later, Dave passed away. Following his death, Marshall urged his followers on Twitter to get vaccinated before it was too late. Now it's time to hear from you. Who do you think is the most memorable game show host of all time? Let us know in the comments section below. And before you go, make sure you give this video a like and subscribe to Facts First if you haven't already. Click the bell icon to stay updated on all our latest content.